So after about seven years and 70 videos, I think I finally found my direction as far as you know how I wanna go and what I wanna do. So I'm ready to get it going. What it did, what it do, and what it does. What's up, this is your boy, The Sound of the Rain, and I would like to welcome you to my channel. And today, uh, my video is going to be going over what is Sound of the Rain. Now, if you didn't catch my previous video, I was explaining how the approach to my channel, I'm gonna be actually doing something called uh, Building in Public. Uh, shout out to the homie Roberto Blake for kind of putting me up on game, but uh, what it is is as I build the brand of Sound of the Rain, I'm gonna make you part of the process of it. You know, so it's gonna be essentially kind of like a reality show. You know what I mean? <laughs> the reality of it might be me sitting right here talking to y'all or me sitting in the car, but either way, you're gonna get a glimpse into the process of, you know, what it is to build this, what it is to grow, what it is to, to fail, what it is to, to succeed, to cry, to laugh. You know, you're gonna see all of that. So Sound of the Rain, to get started, what the phrase, sound of the rain means it's literally initially the sound of the rain r-a-i-n i love the sound of the rain it's one of the most peaceful serene things that i just experienced i can just like sit in the rain and just i just feel so peaceful listen to it listen to when listening to the rain hit the car and metal you know i, I hear people talk about uh when they were older or when they were younger how their house is like the roof would be like made out of tin or metal and it's just like you could hear the rain you know pouring down and it's just i can just listen to it i mean it's just it just blesses me so much right so a play off of that you know it's something that i love something that brings me peace so sound of the rain and r-e-i-g-n sound of the rain what i meant by that was that the music because because it was initially uh started out as my artist name that, that's my artist name and R-E-I-G-N was a reflection of the reign of my Lord and Savior, uh, Jesus Christ. So the music that I was making was to be a reflection of him, representative of him. So what I was making was a sound of his reign. And what I've come to realize is that anything that I do, he gets all glory in. So if I'm making a song about, you know, peanut butter, if I'm making a song about Minecraft, you know, he's still getting a glory, the glory and it's still reflective of his reign. So I took the word R-A-I-N and I took the word R-E-I-G-N, combined the two of them, and that's where you get the sound of the rain. It didn't sound like something you could call, you would call somebody, because another alias of mine is uh, Shamrock. And uh, at the time, I had uh, kind of denounced that, that, uh, that name. Uh, I don't I don't fight that anymore. Uh, but at the time, you know, I was just kind of trying to separate myself from it, you know, based off some things that I was going from, going through. Uh, but a big part of it was a lot of the self-glorification. You know, my identity came from that. You know, there were people that didn't even know my real name, you know, and, and it, it gave me validation as a person, as a human being. You know, there was validation in my skills and my talents, you know, like it made me feel like a person. So what I was like, okay, Next time I come up with a name, I want it to be something that it's not something people are going to go around and call me. When in actuality, <laughs> as I introduce myself with that, people are going to end up calling me or find a way to kind of put a play on it. So there's some people that call me Rain, and there's some people that refer to me as Sound. Um, I like the Sound part. An artist from my local area who already goes by the name of Rain. Um, shout out to the homie Rain. So, you know, yeah, so that's what it is. Uh, Sound of the Rain. It initially started out, I was making Christian music uh, under the name Sound of the Rain. And I put out a song called The Prelude uh, about seven years ago. Um, and that was, that was an experience. You know, it felt good. I kind of been in the, kind of in hiding or, <laughs> you know, kind of under a rock, you know, for, for quite a while. Um, I'm actually part of a group called Ground Zero, and you know we are kind of disbanded, you know, due to me. And since then, I hadn't I hadn't really done anything. I had written 
I might have recorded some stuff, but I really hadn't put anything out there. Sound of the Rain came out, I was making Christian music. So as I was going through this process, at the time it was just me by myself. Um, I was going to Full Sail University and as part of the curriculum they sent you a MacBook Pro. I had the MacBook, I had some stuff that sent, you know, microphone, you know, things to record. And so I was a one man band. So I didn't have any production, I didn't have any beats. So I was making my own beats, um, writing all my songs, uh, recording everything, mixing, mastering, and putting it all out all by myself, even the visuals. So at the time, this was very like overwhelming to me, you know, cause I was used to writing and then just going in there, going to the studio, you know, laying my verse down and then somebody else does all the work behind the scenes. And I, I later realized that it, it's a lot of hard work, you know, and, and even especially with the, the production. Now I'm thankful that I went through that because it, it taught me how to do those things. And I actually, I think I prefer or enjoy the process of, of kind of doing it by myself and on my own, you know, but I want to actually get better at those things so I can even help you know, other people, you know, produce beats for others and, you know, things like that. So it was very overwhelming for me. So there was, I wasn't doing a lot. I wasn't putting a lot of music out. So the first song I put out was a song called The Prelude. And it was a song that I really enjoyed. And it was a song that I was very proud of because it, it really came from my heart. And I was working on an album called Dear God. And so the concept of it was, you know, this is just me talking to God. The Christian rap music that I was familiar with, it was just a lot of people kind of talking about themselves. You know, I did this, I did that, I've been through this, I've been through that, but God healed me. Which isn't a bad thing, but I think for me, I'm trying to, I was trying to get out of that process or that place of self-glorification. And this was still, even though I was talking about God, it was still me kind of talking about myself a lot. So the concept of the album, uh, Dear God, was I was going to be talking solely to him. And so everything that I said, every word that I wrote, every lyric that I wrote was me conversating or talking to God. And so I put out a prelude, put out a visual for it, like I said, about seven years ago. And I was very, I'm, I am very proud of it, you know. Um, I love the song. And I trickled out some more stuff. I put out maybe two or three more things I had actually... It took me a while to put out something else after the prelude. Next group of, of songs, there was something I was calling the I'm Free verse. Like, it was supposed to be like freestyles. Um, and so I did like a one, two, and three. And so the concept and the purpose of these were for me to get more experience with the recording process. So, you know, I'd write a quick 16 bars and have a little hook and it was really for me to get my feet wet with the mixing and mastering and producing and all that stuff. So, you know, I did that and I still, I think I wasn't consistent enough and I kind of taken a break and I kind of stopped. So at that point, you know, I wasn't making music. I, I, there's a lot of music that I've written, um, a lot of beats that I've made that no one's ever heard, no one probably will ever hear. I, I would like to at some point, like maybe make a SoundCloud account and you know put it on there and people can kind of hear it just to kind of hear where I came from. But uh, then my kids had introduced me to something called nerdcore music. And so what it is is essentially people rapping about video games, comic books, uh, stuff that I was into, right? And I was like, wow, like this is a thing. Like people like listen to this and people like gravitate to this. And so there was a, a group called Nerd Out. And in this group, they had a song about Fortnite. And they had a lot of songs uh, that were dope. You know, I was like, wow, these jokes are just spitting. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it was, it was I just couldn't believe someone took that angle. There was, this was like really a thing. And I had heard of some artists that were, you know, that, that did uh, music like that. Like, I was familiar with Mega Ram, um, but I didn't know that the whole scene had just really, was really like a thing, you know? And so, it kind of just like, you know, gave me like a light bulb moment, like, ding, like, you know, I was like, you know what? I could do this, you know? And the thing is, for me, 
I'm at a place content wise to where I'm a I'm a husband. Um, I'll be 42 this month. I got seven children. Like I'm very conscious about the things that I that I speak about and talk about when I rap. I want it to be something that my kids can hear and listen to. Now, granted, there might be something that you know, topic or subject wise, it might not be something for them to to listen to. But I still want to be mindful uh, of what I'm putting out. Before I started doing like the Sound of the Rain Christian music, I think the focal point of what I talked about was how good I was, how much better I was than somebody else. It wasn't just that, but for me, I think hearing about the whole Nerdcore thing was a breath of fresh air. So I was like, you know what? Let me give this a shot. So my issue as far as production, there's a guy named um, Ain't O'Donnelly. You know, he's a producer. Um, and I met him long time ago um, online, uh, back when I was, you know, working with Ground Zero pretty regular, regularly. And I was, uh, I would rap over some of his beats I found on like SoundClick. And we, you know, we, we have built, you know, some type of uh, communication. And like, you know, years later, you know, he's got, you know, a company where he essentially like, you know, sells beats. Even if he's not producing them, he has like a, a Producers, houses, producers. So he has something called the uh, 